Welcome to After Moments. I'm your host. I'm in the captain. Still don't do intros. Uh, not, have not we this. ever? Have we? No. We haven't? No, because there's only two of us. I don't know. I'm trying to formalize it because uh, we're popping off. The captain. Yeah, the captain. I, I think I like captain over like, you know, people label themselves as like Kang and Queen, or at least black people do. <laughs> queen? <laughs> yeah. You know, all these like... Black it's, queens well, out here. Well, that's a form of empowerment. Yeah. Trying to say, hey, you are a queen. You yeah, but... You should be treated as a queen. You should be seen as a queen. But it's it's strange though, right? Because Americans don't have that history, that regal history, right? We're yeah. not used to kings and queens and all that. <clears throat> kings and queens don't call themselves kings and queens. Other people call them kings and queens. Like, if you're calling yourself, then it's a kingdom of one. You. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Much. That's crazy. I don't know. But uh, I support you queens and kings out there. There's millions of kingdoms out there, apparently, <laughs> that uh, don't... I don't know. Can you really call yourself a king billions. or a queen if you ain't got property? I feel like you got to have, like, some land. Ooh, you <laughs> attacking everybody. Why? Why? No, I mean, technically, you're a king of this plot of land this that castle? exists. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would totally live in a castle, though. I see it as together ownership. What do you mean? I mean... You guys are paying rent. Like, no, 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 no. Stop. That's stupid. Why is that stupid? Come on, man. <laughs> what? I don't own this. I don't want to. I'm just saying that this is our house. It's yeah, not okay, my Okay, we house. all live here. I get it. It's yeah, I know. House. Yeah, not to get everyone confused about, like, you're not, like, walking around here, like, you should address me as majesty. <laughs> Which would be dope. I'm not going to lie. If, if, if people call me. You are the captain. I am the majesty. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's soft. That's how I feel about you, you know, being the you captain. captain. What's wrong with captain? It sounds dumb as hell. No, it it, it comes with the connotations of responsibility. Because the captain goes down with the ship, right? Or the captain of a airplane. Is it captain? Or pilot? Captain. No, but it's also captain, right? I feel like it is. Captain, if you're doing like airlines. Ship. Like if you're doing like an airline, if you're carrying yeah. people. Yeah. yeah. It's a, you're, but if, you're you're spiling, if, you're, if you're flying solo, you're a pilot. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm talking about like commercial. Mm. Yeah, so that's captain. So it's like it comes with responsibility, and people don't use the captain word, so which is why I like it, because king, queen, whatever. We're Americans. I don't know. Every time you call yourself the captain, I think of that Somali dude. From yeah, the I know. That's also funny too. <laughs> I am the, the captain, captain now. now. Yeah, I am the captain now. Thank you. First of all, you're not Somali. Second, like you, yeah, extra. As far as white people are concerned, I I'm am Somali. I am Somali. <laughs> I mean, do you think they can tell the difference? Nope. I don't think so. They're like, I could have sworn you look like this other guy that you don't look like. <laughs> I've gotten that a couple that? times. Yeah. yeah. What was it? Who was the guy? Um, Lawrence Fishburne. No. <laughs> no, I don't see it either. But I don't know. White people be weird sometimes, man. Well, I've been told this a lot. I don't know if it's true. Boris or not. Kojo? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the bald head. Like, it's the bald head. They're like, oh, you're a black guy with the bald head. Yeah. You must be worse. Yeah. Guten Tag. Just the uglier version. Yeah. Did you know he's German? Yeah. The only reason why I know that is because he started speaking German in Husband of Hollywood. <laughs> I was just like, where the fuck did this come from? Yeah, that's crazy. Like when a black person... He's a black German. <laughs> yeah. French is more common. You ever meet a black French speaking person? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, yeah. more common. But like German though. That's I'm pretty sure they hated us. But like when uh, what's his name? Your favorite runner, the one who like broke records and shit. Talk about Jackie Robinson. Is it, yeah, that's the baseball player. Oh yeah, that's. <laughs> they all look alike, don't they? <laughs> you fucking stupid. <laughs> that's what. That's how white people will be treated us, man. Mm, it's like no. that's it's, you're that one dude. But do you do you have that problem with like identifying white people? Mm -hmm. like, oh, you're that white guy. It's like no. But he looks like it. No, I feel like black people are better at it. Like, we can notice differences more because black features are more distinct. So we can notice the details, right, of people's faces. So, like, if you saw two white guys, you could tell the difference. I don't know if white people can. Maybe it's a genetic thing. Who knows? They, they're unable to identify well, the Well, I think with white people, it's just that there's so many variations of white. And because white is just, if we're talking about white, we're just talking about skin tone. We're not talking about American. We're talking about... Yeah. Every type of but white, which is tone, French. There's so much white. I mean, there's French, Italian, German, Russian. Right. There's so many versions. And each one has different different traits that yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of stand out. Now, when in the U.S., we're all mixed. Like, at least everybody's mixed, right? Yeah. In a sense. So they have different features from each of those countries. 
right. that kind of tie in together. That's why when you do a freaking ancestry, they're like, oh, I got 23% Irish in me. And then... 3% African. Or some shit like that. Yeah. You know? So I, I think it's just easier for us to identify because they have so many variations yeah. of like white. Yeah. And then so many features. But when it comes to black people, we know we all have big noses sometimes. Sometimes big lips. That's, that's usually a black okay. trait. Sure. Right? Uh, or white people have thin lips. That could be a thing. Maybe the normal is yeah. bigger lips. I wonder what the yeah, genetic, but some of them, the evolutionary yeah. Well, some of them is. don't have thin lips. Some of them actually do have yeah. nice, big, plump lips. Like yeah. black people. And I'm just like, you got a little black in you, don't you? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you can tell by their lips. Oh, but like, there's no way that your, your, your parents have like the same lips you do. Yeah. Yeah. Adopted? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. no, man. Isn't it crazy, though? Like, can you imagine? Like, a lot of people do that ancestry, DNA testing, all that, right? Yeah. We don't have to. Because we know where we're from. Yeah, but I think there's still going to be some traits of Italian in us because, like, we, we're too... Uh, do you think there's tongues. something in our blood like? Oh, there has to be. Why? <laughs> because... Uh, Colonization. First of all, Grandpa on Dad's side, too light-skinned, bro. What do you mean too light skin? No, what do you have you seen light? him? Is he have you seen his pictures? I don't know. He's super light. Lighter than us. Maybe he just doesn't go out. <laughs> That's possible. I'm pretty sure he was... No. Nah. He, he was the tailor That's guy, where right? I get my skin tone is. Yeah. The tailor? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's like indoors all the time doing like sewing Nigga. shit. Come on. It's possible. Uh, he was borderline white. Maybe he was albino. That's Nigga. a genetic thing. Don't you think it would have passed down to us? So you're saying the reason why I like pizza so much is because... Shut <laughs> the fuck <laughs> Uh, because you got a little Italian yeah, in you. I got a little mom spaghetti in here. <laughs> mom spaghetti? Yeah. What are you doing? Some Eminem bullshit? Yeah. I'm trying to throw that into like analogies and shit. It's not working. It's like, you wrote some code? Yeah, it looks like mom spaghetti, nigga. <laughs> you idiot. No, but I'm serious. There's, there's no way we're pure, you know. What if we are, though? No. No, what if, would you take a DNA test? I don't know. How do you feel about DNA tests? I, I wouldn't mind taking it. For real? As long as I don't have to pay for it, that shit is in expensive. A database. Your so? DNA is in a database. So Someone what's gonna can happen? clone you. So? Then there's another, there's another you out there. And that'd be pretty cool. It, all right, so then what would you, what if you ran into your, the, obviously they're not gonna be the same age as you, right? Mm -hmm. They're gonna be, all right, let's say, so you do the DNA test, they take the DNA, somehow they're able to recreate you. Then you, you run into your younger self. Are you gonna automatically assume clone, or are you gonna assume time travel? Time travel. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh, clone <laughs> seems really far out there. I know. I know. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. There's been so many movies, so many stories, so many like you know comics about time travel compared to cloning. So what? They're all fake. I know they're all fake, but it's more believable for me just because like. Well, here's the thing. I can see at one point, like, our future. I, I'm not saying it's going to be in the near future. Obviously, in the near future, most likely cloning is going to be a lot, you know, closer than yeah, time Yeah, it's travel. actually very close. Like That's that. what I'm saying. Yeah. But it, it just seems more believable because yeah. of time travel. Like, we've seen so many movies, shows, cartoons, like... Dude, what? If time travel was real, we would already know about it. Because the moment it happens, then we would... Well, can you travel in the past or the future? I don't want to get into it. It's going to hurt my brain. You would think it's time travel. Would you like give them advice? <laughs> what would you tell your younger self? Be yourself. That's it? Not like, hey, buy some Bitcoin, nothing like... Oh, no, no, it would be today's time. So you would just say be yourself, that's it? If somebody told me that when I was younger, my life would be totally different. Why? If it was somebody outside of our parents, because, you know, our parents would tell us, you know, just be yourself, or at least dad would. Don't be somebody else. That's what dad always, would always tell me. Really? Yeah. Because he knew I was hella extra when I was a kid. Oh, that's funny, because he would tell me, like, to just go along, get along, because you oh. know how I am. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he told me, so he gave us different he, advices. Yeah, yeah, advice that was suitable, I guess. And that's why you need a dad in your life. You get a dad? Oh, that's <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I'm not could, trying to be a dick, I'm just saying, like. No, you know, we could be your internet dads, where what, you what get advice from other people. I don't know if we're even qualified to give advice. I think I am at this point. Like, if uh, I ran into my younger self, I'd be like, don't do mechanical. Get into computer science. Yeah, everything's software related anyways. No, it's just like it's a much easier time. It's easy to build mm -hmm. when all your shit's on a computer. When it's just ones and zeros. Mm -hmm. Versus like, 
I mean, mechanical engineering is a lot of fun, but mm. it's like the capital requirements for that. You need all this tooling, and a 3D printer. I don't know. I'll tell them like, I'd probably tell them don't go to college. Waste the four years. I'm learning a lot more. Honestly, I, I'm, the thing I miss about college is like not having that college experience of the, the fun part of it, you know? Obviously the schooling, no go. That's What's why I dropped part? out. What's the fun part? Huh? Getting drunk. Hell yeah. I went going to some parties, engineering parties. Going some, you know, experiencing to... things. Dude. Just saying, man. You know? What things? Like, you could still do that. Like, obviously, like, you're not going to do it with young people. Like, you're not going to do it with young people, obviously. No. But even then, like, college, I wasn't the party type, so it never really appealed to me. Plus, it was then. easier to make friends compared to now. Like, how many friends do you have? That's true. But, I mean, like... Can't I, really make I, friends when you're old. I made friends there, uh, yes, we're reluctantly. Old. Like that's the thing. Like as you get older, you realize your your who your friends really are it gets much much, much smaller. smaller. Way and smaller. And that's the way it's supposed to be. It should have been. The fact that you had all these 20, 50 friends in high school, they weren't real friends. Yeah. So it's like, do you want? It was pretty much like quantity over thing, quality. You know? Yeah, 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 for sure. But it still would be nice to have like those experiences. Like what? Like I'll tell you. Like. What experience are you thinking about? Oh, you don't want to get shit faced every life? night. Dorm life. You're sharing a room with somebody. Imagine someone sharing your. You know, that's your first step to actually having a roommate. Like when you uh, outside live. Like it's, for it's me, not. I jump into that. You know, just having a, a, a random person you live with. Wait. So you want to share a fucking room? So imagine your room right now that you have. Yeah. Actually, my dorm room was smaller. Mm. But that was two people living in it. Yeah. And we had a shared bathroom that was outside. Yeah. It would have been cool to experience that. No, I mean, just experience it. Compared to like, you know, working my way up to, you know, it is this right now. Like, you know, we live in a house, you yeah. know, we have our own rooms, we have our own bathrooms. Working your way up to that point, like, I think that would have been cool. Going to college and living outside on your own, living without your parents, like, that, that would have been... That is valuable for sure. It is, Yeah. right? Just because having to deal with your own problems. Exactly. You get to grow up, uh, well, you I want to say faster. faster, but I'm just saying you get to no, no, learn. No, no, it is faster, for sure. Because you have to learn by doing. That's yeah. one of the things I think they should have done. They should have just kicked us out of the house when we were 18. But and I know a lot of people would be like, oh, no, you know, save your money. I know that's the prudent thing to do. But if you think about the cost, the opportunity cost of not learning how to live yeah. by yourself, then you do it later in life. You, all that time you could have been learning. Even the dorm thing. Like, it's not really living because it's like only know, part of the year. But. but it's still, it's a step towards that. You know, my first three months, I was trying to figure out like how I would pay my rent because I was behind on one month, mm. you know? So I had to go to like a check cash in place. Oh, for real? To borrow money. How'd that go? It worked out perfectly because I needed money at that moment to pay rent. Huh. And then okay. two weeks later, I got my paycheck, paycheck and yeah. then I pay it back. And then yeah. I was disappointed because I was like, I got I got my paycheck. And then and now then I have to pay it back. It a covered lot of me. shit on the check cashing places, but I mean, when you need when cash When you need money, fast, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It, it's... It's, it's a good resource. Yeah, I don't know. There is some, like, California is weird about, like, check cashing places and, like, it's predatory. It's like, yeah, but, like, when you need money, you where need the fuck money. are you going to go? Exactly, unless you're selling shit on the street. Yeah. You know? So, or a pawn shop, then you lose your shit. Like, exactly. That's yeah. something I would have told myself, my younger self. Be like, hey, first of all, beat yourself, and then second, to learn to get it. You still can. I mean, it's harder it when harder. you're older. Yeah, like, it's like, just, like, hard to memorize. Is that a TikTok? I don't know. If I like entertainment, man. Just like <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Like, if you really want to. I know. I know. That's the one thing I just realized. Being able to speak another language, like, for what? It has to have purpose, man. It connects you. When you learn a language, you you get connected to, you know, that culture. That. So you're gonna be going back to Eritrea. I wouldn't say that, like, but I would be a lot closer to you know our heritage, if I knew the language, because I'm, I feel so disconnected now because we don't speak it. Disconnected. Right? What does that mean? It means that we don't follow any of our like things that Traditions? we do for our heritage, culture. What are you talking about? Because, We're Americans first. Like, wouldn't you want to, you know, have a piece of that? What do we do here? That's Habesha. What do we do? I don't know. Nothing. You know? No. We're too Americanized. Yeah. If we l actually learned the language, if we spoke it on a regular <laughs> All of a basis, we're gonna be fucking wearing gabbies and fucking. <laughs> Hey, man, Come man, on, man. bro. I'm just saying. It's like this white cloth that you put on that makes you look like you're from the countryside. It's a blanket. It's it's a cotton blanket. You know what you could do? Is let your beard grow naturally so you can look more harvesha. You just look homeless like you. It's not homeless. That's just how homeless. they be. Your beard is homeless, bro. I got a roof over my head, so I don't And matter. how can you do with your mustache going over your lips? I don't feel it until it gets really, uh, really uh, long. Right now, it's bothering me. Like Why? I just it's my hair. <laughs> 
I just feel it right now on my lips. I would be like, blah, 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 trying to try to get it out of my lips. You just can't ignore things, huh? What do you mean? You're just annoyed by little Even right things. now, I'm just staring the shit out of it. <laughs> See? That's your problem, man. I'm just saying, like... Maybe this is a testament to no. our personalities. Like, I don't let We're going off subject. Okay, do. okay. We're going off subject. So you want to be Habesha? You want to... You wanna I want to have a piece of our culture. All right, so... Our heritage? What? How would you say? Our ethnicity? East African? Small, Air small little country? Eritrea? Basically Air the North Korea of Africa. <laughs> you. Korea of Africa? Yeah, it's pretty bad there, dude. Oh, no, man. I mean, when people are fleeing the country on boats and then they overload it with people and it capsizes and everyone drowns, that's a fucking problem, man. No, I know. That's fucking North Korea shit. I'm just saying I would like a piece of our culture, like the being language. connected to it, you know? Yeah. And then you'd be, once you start communicating with others, like it opens up a whole new I don't world. Think I like Habesha people, man. Because we're not able to communicate with no, Habesha people. It's the culture, man. No. I don't like the culture. Because you haven't been able to communicate with them. No, that's why I, I don't you. like the culture. I don't like it. Whatever. There's a lot of things about right. like that's you. That's you. I like the culture. Not saying, not being honest with each other because you got to be polite. That's just mom. No, no, no. That's all habishas. They cannot be honest with people. It's all about saving face and oh, God. That shit's so annoying. That's almost every culture. No. Asian culture. American isn't like that. Asian? A lot of Western no, cultures. No, 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 are. no, 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 no. Asian no. cultures are similar. There's a very common. There are very similar, similar to ours. Similar to habisha. Yeah. I know. That's what I'm trying to tell you. On the like, the east side. E West side, no. East versus west, I guess that's... No, that's, my <laughs> no, 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 I mean like you. eastern versus western cultures. I know, no. but western cultures is more more progressive compared to anything. like the east side. Because the thing is, eastern culture is focused on like old values. Because not, not a lot has changed over the years when it comes to eastern culture compared to western culture. Western culture is more right. progressive because it is always changing. Now we have fucking pronouns that we have to use on a regular basis depending on who we're talking to. And then always ask do you as, really? a, as a polite thing. Do no, really? I don't do that. But <laughs> okay, I'm, so you don't. I don't. But at the same time, do you have like, it in your profile? Do you say he, him? Do you have that in there? They have that for work. Do you, did, you, did you actually put it in there? No, I didn't. Oh. Okay. I, I made sure not to put it on there. Oh, really? You're not one of those? No, that's dumb. Isn't it weird when like cis people put that okay, stuff not, in there? Okay, I want to say it's dumb. <laughs> it just it doesn't make sense to me. But no, Cancel I don't. him. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I, I just don't understand it. I don't understand it because we already know, like for the longest time, there was only two genders. Now there's a third. Or two identifying sexes. as genders are a fluid thing. That's those are the rules now. Yeah, let's change the definition of everything. Why not? My my strategy with this stuff is like, okay, you guys really want to play it this way? Okay, let's go to the extreme. Let's 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 make you follow your fucking rules. Yes, I support the two S L G B T Q Q I A A plus community. One hundred percent. And if you don't say the letters right, I'm going to fucking roast you for that shit. Say the fucking letters right. I don't know. All these people who are like way into this. I mean, do what you want. But you know, like, actually, I saw a TikTok video where uh, a dude was making, uh, like, kind of joking around. He was uh, on, what is it? Omogli? Omegle. Ome uh, Omegle. Yeah. The first thing he did was, like, identify pronouns. He was like, oh, what's your pronouns? The, Weird. the girl was like, she, her. And then he was like, oh, I have, like these different pronouns, which he called like action pronouns or something like that. My pronoun is, is nig, ga at the end. Mm -hmm. So he's like, oh, this is the way I, I remember, you know, other people's pronouns like she, her, she, her, she, her. And then he was like, all right, your turn. And then a white girl says, nig, ga, nig, oh. And then she freaks out, she's like, oh. And then he, he pulls out a camera, click, mm -hmm. <laughs> caught, caught in 4K. Can you imagine there being a word you're not allowed to say? Me? Yeah. Like what? Like, are there any words? That I can't say? Yeah, like white people, they can't say the N-word, right? I, don't, I think black people can say anything. We have a level of freedom of speech that other white people don't. Yeah, but what? sometimes that level of freedom gets us in trouble, especially when it comes to communication what? between, you know, an Afri uh, African-American and a police officer. Like, what do you mean? Have you seen, like, some of the videos of, you know, black people just, you know, talking shit to police officers, and then it escalates to the point where an officer gets physical with somebody just because they're saying something. I'm just saying when it comes to black people communicating, like it gets black people in trouble sometimes. Well, I mean, if compared to other races, let's be real. Aggressive to an officer, even if you're, with you're white or Asian or Indian, same yeah. shit's gonna happen. No. Yes. More on black people. No. I, I, dude. I, I know believe, you see I, the videos. I, I know it. you see the videos, but statistically speaking, actually, they're more lenient on black people. You only notice 
the outliers, the ones that you see in the news that are covered. Which, uh, that's another thing. I think people statist- don't understand the statistics. Like, you how many know. people are killed by police every year? How about that? Every year? Yeah. By police. On the, the top where? Of in the U.S.? California? Where? U.S. Yeah. Well, that's you like, can break it down by race if you prefer, but... No, I'm not going to even go into that. Okay. Like, I, I'm not going to even pretend. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say maybe 5,000? It's actually around 1,000. Really? Yeah. Mm. Do you know how many arrests there are every year? I want to say maybe 100,000? It's in the millions. <laughs> oh. So, if you fact... All right, of those 1,000 people who were shot, how many do you think are black? I want to say half. No. That's white people. Really? Yeah. There are more white people in the country, obviously, so... Yeah, but still... About a that's... quarter of them. 250. Or black. I don't know. I, th- I thought that white skin tone was like a shield. It's not. <laughs> in fact, they're more Captain likely America to shoot. shield. <laughs> I don't know. If you've seen some videos of white people getting shot, it's just like, what the fuck? They don't, if they were black, it would be mainstream news. Yeah, succubus. Is that what they call it? it Are you serious right now? It says AK on it. <laughs> I put, yeah, I put that on there because we had like 13 of them at the store. The boss gave each one of us. Is this supposed to protect your spirit? It's to help us grow. <laughs> as fucking individuals. What does the card say? Oh, work with the sun Thank you for Oh my god, a terrible pun. This is the second one. Uh, <laughs> I know. Catch that. There you go, that's the clip. <laughs> oh <laughs> terrible god. pun. How did I not catch that? Oh no, man. Yo! That's fucking clever! No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs>